is somebody all of us know ma tejo mai devi uh, akka esther divine mata ji she is a divine light alchemist a princess queen descended from traditional chiefs from cameroon africa she was born and raised in paris france a kriya yogini sun yogini healer reiki master sound healer singer musician and producer she plays guitar piano bass overtoning diphonic chanting very with a very large vocal range her sound is unique healing and universal also composer of the signature tune of the first world parliament on spirituality from the param param of the immortal his highness param pooja sadguru uh, shri maha avatar baba ji and his holiness sadguru yogi raj shri shri mangesh da Lahiri Mahashaya and Shri Yukteswar Paramahamsa Yogananda Shri Shri Naga Lakshmi Mata Ji, divine blessings and love and light. Thank you so much, Ma Tejo Mai Devi. Your topic for today is spirituality, healing, music, yoga, and of course devotion. Over to you, Ma. Please unmute. Yes, yes. Thank you very much once again. Namaste, Hotel Jambo, Bolo, Menyega, and all the languages. <laughs> But most, again, most of all, the language of the heart, the language of the soul. I'm very happy to be here. Uh, I want to start actually with some sounds because, you know, um, every cell has its own frequencies. Isn't it? We are vibration. Everything is energy. We are this energy. And we have the beautiful frequencies that, are, that can, you know, help us to harmonize ourselves, bring the healing. Simple, no? Very simple. So I want to start with this frequency, which is the This one resonates in the heart and can help us into our, you know, uh, healing the relationships with others, with ourselves. So I, I invite all of us, all of you to just close the eyes and Bathe in this sound if you can hear it. Take a deep breath in. Hold your breath. Swallow a little bit to moisturize the throat, the Vichudi Chakra. and exhale. Pause a few seconds, breathe in again and continue breathing at your own rhythm. Slowly, go in the silence within, the silence within, so truthful, the 
the silence in which the truth resides eternally. Find comfort in this silence. Do not neglect it. The silence is bringing us the peace also, the calmness, of course. And it's a wonderful way to the path of reconnection within. Focus on the heart, breathing again. And open this region of your body, physical, subtle, spiritual, open, open, open. Embrace the whole world, all the beings. Open your arms and embrace, exhaling, just embrace everything. Keep on doing so. And I've just shared one, one of the tools that we can use, practical tool that we can use to bring back the calmness in ourselves. When we bring in, whatever we bring in is actually shared all around because everything starts with us, with the self, with the I, the I am. When we are composed, when we feel what, however we feel, this is what is radiating all around. And this is what is received by all. So the more calm, the more loving, the more divine we become again, let's say we are, the more the world will be divine. The change is starting with us simply very simple. I want to share another tool with you because we have to be in the practical aspect of everything that we, we, we are um, bringing. Yes, we want to bring this peace. We want to bring this unity, this world united. But I really believe in changing our mode of how we used to function. So awakening the awareness so that we are constantly in pure consciousness, being aware on every level, what we do, what we think, how we interact with each other, And once again, forget about the old paradigms that we've been used to. We've been in all educated in certain manners, yes, with patterns, with, uh, okay, ways to do this, ways to do that. But let's slowly eliminate what is not, uh, no longer serving us and bring in what is in full harmony with what we want to bring forth. So another tool, for example, when we feel hatred or when we feel nervous, stressful, okay, just pause for a minute. We pause, okay, we take a deep breath and maybe we try to visualize some light. We can choose the white light, we can choose the pink light, whatever, it has to be light. And this light 
you base whatever problems, issues, people, arguments, whatever is negative or what you judge is negative to you, what is disturbing you, just send this light to this situation. Send this light. Okay, we can try now. Take a deep breath in. Take this, any situation and you bring the light. And you do this for a certain amount of time. It can be a few seconds, it can be a few minutes. Then you take the same light and you bathe yourself with it. Another big deep breath and bathe yourself with this wonderful light. And then you feel better. They are simple tools. Spirituality is so simple. In my opinion, it is very simple, yes? And the healing, we have so many tools. Right now we're in a crisis, okay? This, uh, I don't want to call it because I think, <laughs> I don't want to name it, but you know what I'm talking about. So any crisis, right? We have so many tools. Let's say we take the sun, okay? We take the sunlight, you wake up in the morning, okay? This is a very, very wonderful technique and procedure of healing. Wake up in the morning, watch the sun. Look at the sun, okay, with your eyes open. It is better to do it in the first minutes of the, in the beginning, huh? in the first minutes of the sunrise and last minutes of the sunset. And you just look at the sun and then you imbibe yourself with the rays, you know, it's rays. You can do a small meditation or just stand or, or sit still, look at the sun very simply, very lovingly. Let the sun heal you. So wonderful, isn't it? And simple and accessible. And if there is no sun, believe me or not, you can just look at the sky because the sun, whether you see it or not, is there is shining unconditionally for us, all of us, bringing life, you know, giving us the energy. So we do it in a very loving, uh, loving way. If there's no sun, we look at the sky, we will still absorb the sun rays, you know? And then close your eyes for a few seconds, for a few minutes, and you just have your sunlight, you know, the rays you visualize going in every part of your body, physical, emotional, spiritual. It's also a very simple technique which is accessible to all. The sun, now the earth. The earth, just walk a few, you know, uh, minutes in a day, if you can, you walk, or you touch the earth with your hands or with the soles of your feet, right? And there you, have, you can absorb also all the nutrients that sometimes or very often, should I say, we lack of, especially when we live in big cities. Okay, if you have the opportunity, you go to a park, if you're in a big city, just walk, you know, with your feet a few minutes or put your hands and, the earth is going to also replenish you, okay? Water, the water, water is important. If you can purify the water and drink pure water, you will have H2O, which is, you know, oxygen and hydrogen. Do you know that it can even kill the cancer cells? You drink a lot, the oxygen, the hydrogen cleanses you all, 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 you know, because we are made of water, essentially. Don't neglect those, uh, you know, elements of nature. Nature is here to heal us. And we are also, it's, an, it's a reciprocity sort of process. Nature heal us, we also heal the nature. We must not take it for granted. It's sacred and fire. 
you will use the fire to comfort our our you know selves to cook the food for those who who like to cook foods and the fire is also um the element that is very often used to connect us to the divine to the divinity to the deities haven't you seen that in every every tradition every culture there is the fire used to celebrate to heal to to do the rituals for the ceremonies for any given um, occasion to celebrate in life. Fire has also to be respected. Air, how do we live? How do we breathe? First thing, major, don't take it for granted. Breathe, and if you can't breathe properly, learn to breathe again. We practice the pranayama. Pranayama in the yoga, that's where I want to go now. In the yoga, we have the pranayama, which is the control of the breath. Okay. Oh, I don't have time to, uh, I don't have time to meditate. I don't have to, what do you have time for? If you have, don't have time to breathe. Mama, Papa, sister, brother, my children, breathe. Breathe properly and find immortality in the breath. When you take the breath, the, you know, the breath in and then you pause and then you exhale and then you pause again. And when the inhaling is meeting the exhaling, there is magic. Life is produced in these spaces there in what the yogis say, you know, in Sanskrit, it's, it's called the kumbak and antakumbak means when you hold the breath and your, your lungs, let's say, is, are full, you hold your breath. There's a moment there. And when you breathe in, when you breathe out, when you breathe out, the antakumbak, this is when you hold the breath when the lungs are empty. In this empty net, there's also a moment. Both of the, those moments are where life is created. And can you imagine that when we slow the breath, when we learn to master this breath, okay? Based, if we were to base the span of life on the breath, the slower or the less breaths we have within a second is actually helping to prolong our life. So learn to breathe again. Learn to breathe again so that your heart rate can also slow down and not be that agitated. All these tools so important, so major. And try, you give the, the time because it's your life, yeah? It's your life, it's the life of the planet. It's the life of all dimensions. Beyond this space where the breath is so important, there is also a non-breathing or a no need to breathe space that is called immortality, right? So these tools, uh, now we, are, we have all over the world, we have all these schools, all these teachings. So even if we can't go to a school, you know, you can plug in and download the information. Just take these silence moments, just take these breathing moments, just take this sun gazing, this sun yoga moments, you know, all this. And the healing can happen. The healing can happen 
And I remember Dr. Uganda, who's a surgeon, right? He says, um, meditation is actually the only healer. I believe so. I also believe so. Sounds, once again, this one I'm going to take is repairing the DNA and it's called the miracle frequency. I would like to sing a song. Love someone, love somebody, love someone. It's in English, but I love it. <laughs> I wrote it. And um, actually it was, it came as an inspiration. I, just, I downloaded it, should I say. Tell you what I think and how I feel about what's happening around and everything that's going on. Feels like this planet is in danger and that maybe some people could change their behavior. Someone is around the corner watching and reflecting and hoping for freedom. Somebody should learn that the secret of life lies within because that's where is your kingdom. And I'm about to tell you, I'm getting ready to get out of here. But before I go, let me share. Love and light are the only solutions to this new world. I'm about to tell you, I'm getting ready to get out of here. But before I ascend, let me share. Love and light are the only solutions. I'm about to love somebody. I'm about to love somebody. I'm about to love somebody tonight. For the rest of my life, I'm about to love somebody And everyone. Put everybody in the light for eternal life. Say, take a little deep breath in, just be clear and sincere, and take the time to really find the pearls and time to truly have inside. Feel that this light that I talk about now dwells in you, in me, and in everyone. It's a light, tenderness, and the joy and the peace we feel in our mother's arms, containing ourselves with the sweet memory of the soul that we are divine. And I'm about to tell you, I'm getting ready to get out of here. But before I go, let me share. Love and light are the only solutions to this world. I'm about to tell you. I'm getting ready to get out of here. But before I get sent, let me share. Love and light are the only solutions. I'm about to love somebody. I'm about to love someone. I'm about to love somebody tonight and all the rest of my life. I'm about to love somebody, yeah. And everyone put everybody in the light for eternal life. Yo, 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 yo,
And I'm about to tell you, I'm getting ready to get out of here. But before I go, let me share love and light. The only solutions to this world. I'm about to tell you. I'm getting ready to get out of here. But before I ascend, let me share love and light, love and light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready for a higher place. Before I ascend, let me share love and light, love and light. I'll be on these solutions. Love and light, love and light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready for a higher place. Before I ascend, let me share love and light. I'm the only solution. I'm about to love somebody. I'm about to love someone. I'm about to love somebody tonight. And for the rest of my life, I'm about to love somebody. Yeah. And everyone day puts everybody in the light for eternal life. I'm about to love somebody. I'm about to love someone. I'm about to love somebody tonight. And for the rest of my life, love somebody. And everyone. Put everybody in the, everybody in the light, yeah, everybody sing love somebody, and love someone, you gotta, you gotta love somebody, and everyone, love somebody, and everyone, Put everybody in the light for eternal life. For eternal Put everybody in the light for eternity. You are better than all of us. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's just about love, nothing else. Believe me. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you. Thank you.